Hey guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel and yeah in today's video I want to show you guys how to buy cards on the Splinterlands market. So yeah, I already uploaded video about the rental feature in Splinterlands, but in this video I just want to show you guys how to buy cards in Splinterlands with credits or dark energy crystals and also how to buy those credits you will need in order to buy cards here on the Splinterlands market. So one thing I would recommend to all of you Splinterlands beginners is to buy cards on the Splinterlands market just because you can buy those cards you will need for your deck. Buying those untamed packs is of course a lot of fun because you don't know what's in there and you don't know which cards you can get and I know how good it feels if you are lucky and you get a good card but especially for you beginners it's way better to buy cards on the market just because you know what you buy and you will need a way lower budget in order to get good Splinterlands cards. So yeah guys, I already have a card in my head I want to buy for this video and the card I want to buy is a summoner and it is this summoner right here. So the card currently costs $1.75 and as you guys can see up here I don't have enough coins as well as dark energy crystals to buy that card. So I will go ahead and load up my credits. So you guys can buy credits either with PayPal or with your favorite cryptocurrencies like basic attention token, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin and so on. But I will buy my credits just via PayPal because I think it's easier and I still have some money left on PayPal. But if you guys want to see a video on how to buy Splinterland credits with crypto, let me know down in the comments below and I will make a video on how to buy Splinterland's credit with cryptocurrencies. But yeah, for this video, as I told you guys, I will just go ahead and buy with PayPal. I will buy a total amount of 2000 credits, which are worth $2. So I will click here on PayPal and it will just bring me to my PayPal login page. So yeah guys, I will quickly log into my PayPal account and then get back to you guys. And yeah guys, that's all you will have to do to buy credits via PayPal. I just had to log into my PayPal account, choose from which balance they should take my money. So if they should take my PayPal balance or from a bank or credit card. And just by doing that, I have my 2000 credits now on my account. So yeah guys, if you want to buy a card here on the Splinterlands market, all you will need to do is find the card you want to buy, then click the card you want to have. So I just need this monster in level 1, so as you guys can see in level 10 it costs roughly $850. And once you have found the card you want to buy, you will have to decide if you either want to pay with dark energy crystals or with credits. So for this card, because I don't have enough dark energy crystals left, I will use the credits I just bought. So I will go here on credits and all I have left to do is click on the buy button. So am I sure I want to purchase the selected card for a total of 1745 credits? Yes, I am. So I click on OK. And yeah, guys, that's all I need to do. Just have to wait a couple of seconds till the card is transferred to my account. And yeah, just by doing that, if we go to my cards, you guys can see I have my level 1 dragon scale card here now. Now I want to buy another card just to show you guys with my dark energy crystals. I don't have too many left, but it will be enough to show you guys. So again, I will just go on the Splinterlands market. So I want to buy the Harvester because I actually don't have this card yet and it's I think one of the only cards left from the lower cost cards I don't personally have. So I will go ahead and choose the card I want to buy. So as you guys can see the cheapest one, so one of those cards only costs 0 0.0. 0.93 US dollars so I will click here and now I will switch from credits to dark energy crystals so I will buy my card with dark energy crystals and yeah those dark energy crystals I have just gotten from playing the game so from ranked battles and from opening loot chests so it's actually a card I earned 
Now I will just click on buy and are you sure you want to purchase the selected card for a total of 44.679 dark energy crystals? Yes, I am. So I will click again on OK. And yeah, that was actually also all I had to do in order to buy my card. So as you guys can see, if I go on cards now, I have one of my harvesters and my dark energy crystals were already taken from my account. So yeah guys, I hope I could help all of you out with this quick tutorial on how to buy cards on the Splinterlands market. If you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to smash the like button for my YouTube algorithm. And also let me know down in the comments which Splinterlands card you are planning on buying next. And if you guys don't have Splinterlands yet, check out the link down in my description to start playing today. And yeah, hopefully, see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and bye.